welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a huge Dollar Tree haul with you. Normally on Wednesdays, I share grocery hauls, but I did not need any groceries this week. So instead, I went to the Dollar Tree and I figured I would share with you everything that I got. I spent $55, which is usually not what I spend. Usually I try to keep it like between 20 and 30 and this time I just kept finding stuff and I got it. So and the thing about the Dollar Tree is when you find something you better get it because it's not going to be there next time. So let me go ahead and share with you everything I got. So my store finally had all of their fall stuff out. They had a ton of Halloween stuff out. They've had that stuff out for like the, the past three or four weeks but this time I feel like the sections were like completely full. So I was comfortable going ahead and getting what I wanted to get. I was already starting to see some things that were going out of stock. And so, like I said, when you find something at Dollar Tree, you better get it or it won't be there next time. So I'm going to share with you all of the fall stuff I got. I wasn't going to get anything for fall this year because I do have a lot of stuff, but I couldn't help myself. So first thing is this little pumpkin. It says happy pumpkin spice season. I love this. My style for fall is very like orange red um with like pops of green um so yeah that's mainly what i got and i try to keep it with like just the pumpkins some of this stuff was um like the blue style which i'm not really into and then they had like a bunch of football stuff and i'm not really into that either so i kept it with like the orange red white greenish theme so anyway there's that one um a couple other things i kind of have an idea of what I want to do with this, but I got two of these book stacks. So one of them is Sweater Weather, Hello Fall, and Cool Autumn Breezes. So I liked that one. And then this one is Leaves Are Falling, Autumn Is Calling. So I loved this. I love these little book stack, like, looking things. Um, I, I just think that they're really cute. And I could stack them on top of each other here that they like Here's what they look like if they're stacked on top. So it's like, you know. So anywho, I got that. Um, let's see. I was thinking for my coffee bar. I use my coffee, my K-cup, what is it called? A Keurig. It's not a Keurig, but it's the Walmart brand. Um, but anyway, I use that a lot more in the fall and the winter because I don't like hot coffee. But I do use it for like cappuccinos and hot chocolate. So I was thinking this for my coffee bar fall sweet fall I thought that was really cute and then happy harvest season I thought that was really cute for the coffee bar and then I thought maybe this for my coffee bar too it's just grateful and thankful I don't really like the whole like grateful thankful blessed thing but this was too cute I couldn't pass it up um a couple more things that I thought would be cute in my kitchen so these are like little mason jar looking things but here's the pumpkin one says homemade pumpkin pie, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar, white sugar, pumpkin puree. So basically like a pumpkin pie recipe. And then there was also an apple pie one. They had a cider one as well, but I didn't get that one. And last thing fall related, I think is this little sign here. I thought this would go good um, on my TV stand, like underneath my TV. It just says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And again, going along with the pumpkin theme. I love fall and Christmas. That's usually whenever I decorate. I don't decorate a whole lot for all the other seasons, but fall and Christmas are definitely my favorite holidays. Moving on, I wanted to organize the kids' water bottles, so I got two of these containers. These are really good quality. I love these. I have these all over my house, but this one is a square one, and so I thought it would um, go good in where I keep their water bottles. So I got two of them. So they each have one and I thought about putting their, um, utensils in there too, because they both have a cereal bowl and like a sectioned plate. Well, they all do actually, but, um, anyway, so I got that. And then I got these Halloween little ornaments. I thought that it would be cute to do like a Halloween t-shirt making. And I've seen it on TikTok where you lay the wood piece down and then you spray bleach all over the, uh, like all around the cutouts. So I got a pumpkin one. These all have eight in them. A little witch hat, a scaredy cat, and then a ghost. So I just thought it would be cute. And honestly, looking back now, maybe I should have got some wooden letters I might look for that when I go school shopping for my daughter tomorrow, which you, that'll be in the vlog. But anyway, 
We also have an ant problem. So I got some ant bait. This is not normally the one that I buy, but it was at Dollar Tree and I was like, well, I'll try it because they, ants this time of year are just ridiculous. And so anyway, um, so I have been going to Dollar Tree and every week I just kind of go down the toy aisle and I just kind of see what I can find and see if there's anything new for the kids for Christmas. Initially I was going for stocking stuffers, but I think I have too much stuff now, so I'm not going to be able to put everything in their stocking. I might just do what I normally do with their stockings, which is like sock, un socks, underwear, candy. And then I think I'm just going to get a big box and throw all of the stuff in the box so that they have like a little goodie box that they can open. So anyway, for Liam, I got these little Tonka. These are wooden cars. So they have a dump truck one and an ambulance. Of course, if I find more, I will pick up more. But I thought these would be cute. You apply your own decals and they're wooden, so they're good quality. Um, so I'll put that in his little Christmas basket. And then a couple cleaning products. Um, actually, I have another cleaning product somewhere. There it is. Um, so first things first, I got this moisture eliminator. So I saw someone on TikTok say to put this by Roxy. She's playing with a receipt. Um, I saw someone on TikTok say to put this by their litter box and it will like absorb the moisture in the air from their urine. So I think I'm going to try it and we'll just see. <laughs> um, but also I got one of these little fragrance things. So I, my office is right off the laundry room, which is where I keep the litter box. And so sometimes in the middle of the day when she decides to do her business, I am stuck at my computer <laughs> and I can't really, you know, so anyway, I got one of these and I think I'm going to put it kind of sort of by her litter box, but maybe like on the dryer or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I got that for the laundry room. And then the last cleaning product is this Fabuloso. This is the Passion Fruits. So I think I'm going to make a multi-surface spray out of this. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. So, I mean, you can use it on anything. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Counters, windows, mirrors, walls, doorknobs, furniture, it, basically everything. I've seen some stuff about Fabuloso that it's not the best for you, but honestly, what is good for you these days? Vinegar and water, and I hate the smell of vinegar, so I'm, I just usually put just like a cap or two um, in a large spray bottle, and then I fill the rest of it with water, so it's not even like that much, but anyway, I want to make more multi-surface cleaner out of that, and it smells really good. It has just like a real fruity clean scent. Yeah, I really like it. It kind of smells like a green Jolly Rancher. Um, well, actually it has more like an apple scent. Anyway, I like it and that's what I'm going to do. Um, also for Bristol, I have decided for one of her Christmas presents, I'm going to make her up like a makeup bag. So I went through the makeup section and I'm still on the hunt for some more stuff, obviously, but I just kind of wanted to get started and see what I could find. So I got her three Wet n Wild brushes. So this is the contour brush. I figured she could use this for blush. And then I got her two eyeshadow brushes. Um, it actually, it's a smoky liner brush, but I figured she could use it for sparkly eyeshadow and then a crease brush. Obviously she's six, going to be seven. So she's not going to do anything proper anyways, but I figure, you know, it might be fun for her. Every time I do my makeup, she wants me to do her makeup too. So it's just kind of cute. It's one of those things, you know, she's a girl. She's a very girly girl. So anyway, I'm loving it. I also got her a pink little beauty blender. I haven't tried this one. Um, I use the anti-microbial. Um, it's blue and white and I love it so much, but she's always wanting to use mine and I'm like, no, you can't, can't use it. You know, we can't share that kind of stuff. So I got her her own and I'll throw that in hers. And then I also picked up, these are really pretty colors. I might have, should have gotten me one, but I got the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Um, LA Colors really isn't like the best quality, but for a six-year-old, you know. And then I also got her a blush. I wanted to get her a pink blush, but the only pink one that they had is the one that I use, and I know it is very, very pigmented, and I didn't want something that was too crazy for her, so. A couple more things. I got a couple of these um, display easels. So, Riley has broken off the back of picture frames in the living room that I keep the kids' pictures from school in. So I just thought these would be good to display those frames. And because I don't want to get rid of them, they're still holding pictures, but we just needed something to display them. So I got that. And then last thing, 
in this bag. So I've been wanting to get these, but I always forget because they are, they're always on the bottom shelf. So I got the kids some giant um, coloring books. I just thought this would be a good Christmas present and then I can get them like crowns and stuff. Um, but so I got Riley a mini one. I got Liam a SpongeBob one. The boy stuff at Dollar Tree for things like this is hard to come by. Um, so SpongeBob was the only option that he had. And I think they had Paw Patrol, but he's too old for Paw Patrol. And then I got Bristol an LOL one. She still loves LOL stuff. They had a Peppa Pig one that I thought about getting her, but then I saw LOL and I was like, I think she'd like that better. So got those. And those are going to be saved for Christmas. Last bag is more so just like random stuff. So I saw this claw clip. It is a flower. So sometimes the way that I fix my hair, I need a smaller clip. And so I don't have one that's this size. So I wanted to get one because um, I'm going to fix my hair that way tomorrow because I were going school shopping and I don't want to be sweating to death with my hair down like I was. Last weekend with Liam, I ended up putting it up like halfway and I was just miserable. My hair just gets so hot. Um, and then I'm still working on my recipe book, but I needed a small little uh, fine tip Sharpie. So I got one to write on the tabs. And then, oh shoot, I forgot to put this in my car. Um, I got a new air freshener for my car. I did get some a couple weeks ago, but they're not working in my vents. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I got one for my car. I'm going to put that aside so I don't forget to put that in there. I also have been loving these Pure Kick Energy drink mixes. And they had the blue, blue raspberry this time. So I'm going to try that and then I wanted to pair it with the Starburst Blue Raspberry. I always put two because I have a 40 ounce cup and so two and 40 ounces is like the perfect amount and it's it's not like too overpowering. So I got those to pair together. I'm excited to try that. I think I'm going to go make a water when I'm done with this. I've been loving making flavored water lately. It's just something that I've really been loving. Um, for the kids, they needed some more flossers, so I picked these up. These were actually in the baby section, um, so I don't know. I have really been trying to teach them, like, dental health, and it's so hard because trying to get kids to, like, brush their teeth on a normal basis is so hard because, for one, they don't know how, and, like, my kids are, aren't, like, coordinated enough to do it. So I do help them, and I, I have to help them, but I also want to teach them the importance of it, um, so it's it's just one of those things that's like hard to do because even though I have a habit of it like they don't ever see me brush my teeth because I wake up before them and I go to bed after them so it's just not something that they like continuously watch me do so I don't know if that makes sense but you know what I mean so anyway I got them some floss <laughs> Um, last couple things down the candy aisle, of course, I picked up another one of these cookie dough bites. I love these. These are so good. Perfect thing for a sweet tooth. You just grab a handful and you are good to go. Um, my kids like them too. It's hard to keep them out of them. I also got a couple more bags of these flip churros. These are delicious. They are so, so good. If you can find these, definitely pick them up. My store had um, a whole box full, so I think they're like coming in waves because they've not had them for a while. They have a strawberry shortcake one too, um, but I didn't like that one as much, so I didn't get that. But So yeah, that is my giant Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you have found anything really cool from the Dollar Tree lately. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Bye.